Hi everyone, today we are looking at the third session of module 2 for standard 6. The chapter is combustible substances and fire extinguishers. Now we start the opening with by recalling this, uh, this previous session and collecting back the at home activity that they had to do for the previous session. Ask the children how was it to show the poster to other people and what was their reaction when they saw the poster. Once you collect the uh, posters back, keep it aside, put it up later in the classroom for all the other students to also see. You'll be given strings and paper clips so you can put them up across the classroom um, for everyone to see. Once you uh, finish that, uh, tell them that today is the last session for, uh, for the sessions on combustible substances and fire extinguishers. And at the end of this session, they'll be receiving the badge which they were told about in the beginning of uh, this module. Then uh, you uh, talk to them about allotropes. Allotropes is, uh, allotrope is the properties, property of a substance to be able to exist in different physical forms. The different forms of the same element is called allotrope. Two uh, common non-metals which have allotropes are phosphorus and sulfur. And in the next uh, session, you will, in this session, you will continue to teach them about phosphorus and sulfur. Using this handout, you can explain what is the differences between phosphorus and sulfur, what are their uses, their properties and the different types of allotropes. For example, phosphorus is um, the compound that is used, is used at the end of a match stick. And sulfur is the compound that is found in crackers. Explain the whole thing very briefly to them and then split the class into four groups. Each group will get one card. One group will get the properties and uses of sulfur. The other group will get properties and uses of phosphorus. Another group will get different type of phosphorus allotropes, the different phosphorus allotropes and the other group will get the different sulfur allotropes. Now the activity for this group is that they need to learn about these properties and sell it to the other groups like it is a product. They need to make an advertisement. So it can be a, a song, it can be an act, uh, a discussion, it can be a theatre thing, it can even be a poster where they draw properties of this or examples of it etc. I encourage them to use as many different forms as possible to express their idea and in less than uh, uh, five minutes for each group. You give each uh, the whole team ten minutes to prepare for this advertisement making and then like I said give them five minutes to display uh, what they had prepared. Now what they prepare also tell them that what they prepare should be able to capture almost all the information about the product that they are trying to sell and the other group should be able to uh, understand it very simply because when you ask them any questions later, they should be able to answer. Once all the groups are ready with the advertisement and they show it to the other groups, the facilitator can come and ask questions about certain products to the groups which did not present them. For example, if group 1 was working on phosphorus, ask them questions about the other cards that you had, uh, other uh, groups presented. When they are preparing for these um, uh, advertisements, you can also give them the same handout for them to look and refer and learn to, uh, uh, to get the facts about the product that they are selling. With that, we go on to the next part which is the game and simultaneously Kobo assessment. Like we did in any the previous session, uh, sessions 3 of the previous module, we need to arrange the class in such a way that for the first 20 minutes you, everyone is playing the game and then later onwards 10 then children or number of students depending on the number of tabs you have will go to do the assessment and come back. Plan this in advance so that you know how much time you can give for all the students to be playing the game at the same time. <coughs> this game that we are playing here is called Ask Someone. For this, you need to split the class into two teams and each team will be facing the other. Each team will be given the full content of what our session, uh, this module was about, all the information. So you will get uh, two handouts like this. 
Once they go through, quickly go through the handout, tell them that each group has to make questions based on one of the handouts. So if you are giving this handout to group 1, this handout will go to group 2. Each of them need to, uh, each group needs to make as many questions as they can about the content that they've got. And they should be able to answer all those questions too. Once they're done making all those questions, they, uh, one person from each team can come um, to ask the question to the other person. So team A will come and ask one question to team B and that person, if can, that person who has come from team B should be able to give the answer. If he answers by himself, if or he or she answers by himself, he'll get three points. If he is not able to answer the question, he can ask a help from a friend, a specific friend from his same group and then he will get only two points. And if he, can, if he cannot answer like that, he need to ask help from the whole group, which means he'll get, if he, they can answer, they'll get uh, mark, uh, points, uh, one point. If they're not able to answer the question, it will go and then the, um, um, it will come back again later in the round. Simultaneously, team B can ask team A questions and you, uh, the facilitator needs to keep track of the questions and to make sure, uh, questions and the answers if they are correct and also keep track of the points that the students are earning. As the students are playing this game, the other 10, 10 students or depending on the number of tabs you have, they can go and do their Kobo assessment which is a multiple choice question which the Kobo form will be sent to you on your manual. Once that is done, you can tell the students that the session is over and the, the, all the three sessions of this module is over and you can now award them with the certificate that they were getting for uh, being Fire Brigade Arigu Disha Firefighters. Once you give them the certificate, congratulate them and then you can ask them to write the reflection that they have made on their reflection books and with this, this session will be done. Um, we see you in the next session. Thank you so much.